read to me Around the dinner table read to me From one of Aesop's fables I would love it if you'd read to me Hi, I'm John Chape with Lincoln Children's Zoo. Reading to your children is utmost important for their development their entire lives. Spend at least 15 minutes a day reading to your children. Let them learn, let them grow, let them discover all kinds of neat new worlds. They will always treasure that and they will grow and be so much stronger. Now, it's time for The View at the Zoo. The View at the Zoo is written by Kathleen Longbostrom and illustrated by Guy Francis. Keep your eye out on all the pages because there's always the monkeys monkeying around, as monkeys will do. Rise and shine. Attention, please. Monkeys, get down from those trees. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's waking up a monkey. That's really easy to do. Okay, more animals. Wake your cubs up, Mrs. Bear. Mr. Lion, comb that hair. You've got morning hair, Mr. Lion. Yes, but he's getting his breakfast already. He's lucky. Ho, ho, ho. Elephant, please wipe your nose. Well, it's really a trunk. It's a part of their nose, but okay. And pink flamingos on your toes. And there's that monkey checking out the flamingos, of course. Yes. Oh, here's a whole group of giraffes. And a whole group of giraffes is called a tower of giraffes. That's what a whole big group of them is called. All giraffes, please stand up straight. That's more like it. You look great. All is ready. Come on in. Let the day of fun begin. The monkeys are checking out the guests as they come in. So are the meerkats with their big smiles. It's a lot of fun. What animals are we going to find? Wow, look at this zoo. All kinds of creatures. My, what silly things they do. All these creatures at the zoo. It may be the Bactrian camel with two humps. Okay. Or maybe it's the walrus with great big tusk. But snakes escaping? No, that doesn't happen at the zoo. And check out the gorilla with his bananas too. And I bet you there's probably a monkey lurking around because they're all over the place here. Walking on all kinds of feet, dancing to an inner beat. Maybe it's happy feet penguins or happy feet little boys. But it's a lot of fun. Babies riding on their backs, on their bellies, snug in sacks. Well, these are all animals from Australia. And you know what? Most animals from Australia are marsupials. There's the sugar glider here and a koala. And there's kangaroos. Marsupial means pouched mammal. That means they get to carry their babies really in a pouch, like a pocket on their tummy. It's quite handy. The babies really like it. It's a fun way to get around. Hear the silly sounds they speak as they howl, squawk, and squeak. <laughs> and I guarantee you, they make lots of noise, especially macaws, cockatoos. Oh, yeah. How they eat, they never stop. That one looks about to pop. Well, that's just a hippopotamus for you. They're built that way. They're kind of built solid. Well, this young lady over here, she's built, she's got a baby in her tummy. She's going to pop someday, too. Oh, my, look at this. Zoo tour. See them prance, primp, and preen, trying to stay neat and clean. And you know what? There really are birds that do feed on the back of rhinoceroses in Africa and Cape Buffalo. Okay, they're known as oxpeckers. They go around, they actually eat the chicks and the bugs that may be biting those big animals, and they actually are feeding on them. So it's quite a wonderful, healthy relationship. The little birds are really grooming and helping out those bigger animals. That's known as a symbiotic relationship. It's a cool word, symbiotic. Some of them are quite a fright. Watch your fingers, they may bite. Well, you know what? Biting doesn't usually happen at the zoo. But we got some really cool critters here. We've got a beautiful python and a gecko and a chameleon that's got the long curly tail and the tongue that's longer than its body that goes out and catches a bug on the end and pulls it right back in. Now these crocodilians down here, are they alligators or crocodiles? Bet you they're crocodiles because you can see their teeth. Sun is setting in the sky. Everybody, say goodbye. Please go home so we can sleep. 
time for us to count our sheep. Yep, all the critters at the zoo, they like to go to bed too. You know that? They like to snuggle right down in. But there's a surprise here. Phew, they're leaving. Off they go. They all put on quite a show. What a hoot. Folks have no clue the view that we have at the zoo. The end. That's right. The animals have quite a view at the zoo, too. Just like you're enjoying the animals, the animals are enjoying you as well. The mission at the Lincoln Children's Zoo is to enrich lives through first-hand interaction with living things. We're enriching your lives when you get to pet the animals and feed the animals and meet the animals. And the animals' lives are being enriched, too, by meeting you. It's just a great, great opportunity. So go to the zoo, pick up a great book, learn all about animals, and I'll see you at the zoo. Read to me, a line by Dr. Seuss. Read to me, a rhyme from Mother Goose. Put the phone away and read. Turn the TV off and read. I would love it if you'd read to me.